Hey guys, welcome to day 12 of Ethany's um, 31 Days of Tarot. This one is about the divination tool used most this year other than the tarot. I have to say mine is the Lenormand or Lenormand. This is my favorite deck. Um, it is the unlaminated paper deck that's like $8 on Amazon. I bought three of them this year. And this is an Altoids tin that it fits inside. Ah, if I trimmed my other Lenormand decks, I suspect they would also fit in here. Um, anyway, I love how super tiny these are. I'm thinking about trimming both of my Lenormand decks. I'm going to sleep on it, of course, um, for a little while before I do it. Uh, this has to be my favorite deck for the imagery, not necessarily for the quality of the cardstock. It's paper. It's like card. It's like very thin cardboard paper. Uh, they don't have any bounce back, any sheen. They are not glossed at all. And I, I love this one the most. I love the images on it the most. I take this to the bar all the time uh, whenever I do readings at work and I don't have to worry about people ruining them because they were so cheap that I don't even care. But these are my favorite Lenormand images probably because it's my first deck. Uh, I think we all fall in love with the images on our first Lenormand deck, there's just something about them. A very close second and a must have, in my opinion, in a Lenormand collection, if you do readings for a vast variety and diverse group of people, is to have a Lenormand deck like the Bluebird that comes with 38 cards. Because a standard Lenormand comes with um, 32, I mean 36. So why would it come with 33? What are those extra cards about? What, what makes them so special? They are extra gentlemen and lady cards. So these are the original gentlemen and lady cards. These are the extras. Because a lot of people make the mistake when reading Lenormand of using, instead of using the female lady as, you know, a, let's say that this male quarant, this is our male quarant, and he has a male partner. Some people will make the mistake of not using the lady but using the rider or the cavalier or whatever you want to call him. Sometimes people reading for a female quarant with a female partner will make the mistake of making the female partner the snake, which is a very popular and common thing. Every book I have ever read on the Lenormand says to do that, but as a queer person myself, that just doesn't seem right to do that because the snake can mean a treacherous woman and the rider can mean a handsome man, but that doesn't necessarily make them a partner of the quarant. If you're in a committed relationship with someone, if you're a gentleman, it's going to be the lady. If you're a lady, it's going to be the gentleman. But how like weird would it be to, be, to have a female partner and to see your female partner represented by a male card? It's just a little weird, right? Like not just a little weird, but problematic even. Well, that's where these extra cards come in. They both look at each other. They can both see each other. I know that if I have a querent who has who is in a homosexual relationship, I can give that querent the cards that fit and are going to make this reading much more comfortable and, in my opinion, much more accurate and inclusive. So a deck like this is really a must-have Um and I just, I'm going to ramble a little bit more. I just feel like that's lacking in a bit of the Kipper decks. I really wish more of the Kipper decks had um, those. But the thing about Kipper is that, especially since they are originally German, the, the cards are represented by a man and a woman. I'm not going to pull them out, actually. That'd be a hassle. The um, the lady and gentleman cards are not lady and gentleman. They are Hauptputzon 1, Hauptputzon 2. It is pictured, man and lady, but the title is main person 1, main person 2. The names are, you know, genderless, but the pictures depicting them are gendered. So there's a back and forth, I think, in the Kipper community on whether or not to do the cards um, like the Bluebird Lenormand does them. But also in Kipper, you have more than just one um, heterosexual pairing of cards. You actually have three sets instead of one set because um, you have rich girl, rich boy, and then you have um, 
good lady and good sir, good sir and good lady. Uh, and those are older people. So it's like, wow, should we do like the extra, extra cards for every single one of these or just for the ones? And you're like, I don't know. Ah, let's just not do anything, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I've been dabbling in Kipper, but I wouldn't say I used it um, that often, but I do enjoy Kipper. Um, moving on with more Lenormand, we have the Maybe Lenormand, which has 52 cards. Now, this does not come with extra lady and gentleman cards, unfortunately, but it uh, does go up to 52 instead of 36, which makes it very interesting. This is what makes... Um, the difference between a petite Lenormand and a grand Lenormand. Because a petite Lenormand has 36 and the grand has anything more than 36. I've seen some that have like uh, 42 or 48 or something like that. And then we have some that are all the way up to 52. So it's basically anything more than 36 makes it a grand Lenormand. So... That is that. I hope that you enjoyed this. And that's really the only reason why I have those three different Lenormand decks. Because Lenormand is not like, um, it's not like tarot. You don't read it intuitively. The artwork doesn't provide anything extra to the reading. There's not a different style of reading like with with uh, tarot. With tarot, you can read it right or wait. Marseille style, like Marseille pip style. Uh, freestyle or Thoth style. And I'm sure there's even more than just that. But with the Lenormand there is much more of a structure and the artwork does not matter except for which direction things are facing, which isn't that big of a deal. It doesn't provide um, anything extra intuitive to have those different decks other than to have a Grand Lenormand, a Petite Lenormand, and a gender uh, and sexuality inclusive Lenormand. So that is that. I hope that you will join me tomorrow for day 13. And until then, happy dabbling and bye-bye.